friends welcome to my youtube channel holy pharmacy in this video we are going to discuss about uh, how to apply different type of statistical test like t-test and ANOVA test for the given data so before going to discuss about uh, how to apply this test you must understand what type of data do we have so there are two types of data normally distributed and non-normally distributed whether it is non-normally distributed or normally distributed to recognize it we will take one example uh, one example we have the 10 value and for 10 value if we have the standard deviation is 4 if this is the first case and second case we have the 10 value and standard deviation is 6 if standard deviation is below the half of the main value then it is called as normally distributed and if it is above the half of the main value then it is called as non-normally distributed so for 10 half is the 5 so below 5 is the 4 so uh, in the in this case this data is normally distributed because it is having the uh, standard deviation value below half of the main value and in this case data is non normally distributed because standard deviation value is more than the 5 which is uh, more than the half okay so for normally distributed data we will use the parametric test and for non-normally distributed data we will use the non-parametric test okay so if we have the two samples or we have the two data in that case we will use t-test in case of parametric okay parametric data normally distributed data and in case of non-normally distributed data we will use the man whitney test man whitney u test if we have the more than two sample like three sample then in that case we will use the ANOVA test in case of normal distributed data we will use the ANOVA test in case of non normal distributed data we will use the non parametric test like Kruskal Wallis test okay this is a general information regarding uh, the what type of data we have and how to recognize this data okay so in this uh, video tutorial, we are going to discuss about how to use the GraphPad graph uh, Prism software uh, to apply the statistical test. So, firstly, we will open the GraphPad Prism. When you open the GraphPad Prism, you will get the inter interface. Computer is later a bit, uh, little bit slow. So we have to wait. Okay. Uh, then we will get this interface. You have to click on the column. It is by default click on the col column. So you have, if it is not click on the column, then you have to click on the column. Okay. Just click on the column uh, at the bottom side. Okay. You will get uh, create option. See the arrow. Okay, just you have to click on the create option. Okay, so as we discussed earlier that if we have the two data or two samples, in that case we will use the t-test. Okay, so now we will copy the data to apply the t-test. Control C, normal things you will know. Okay, this is data one and data two. We have labeled it. Okay, so you you we want to apply the t test for this. So you okay. just have to click on the analyze option. Here analyze option is there. Okay, click on this option. Okay, here various tests are there. Okay, so we have to click on the this t test and non parametric test. The t test. Okay. You have to click on it once you click there is the option pair test and pair test you want to apply for pair test and another option is also there in re, after the residual options if you want to apply one tail or two tail depending upon uh, what type of data you have if you want to apply for one tail you can apply you can click on one tail okay so we will click on one tail and just you have to press the OK. So you will get directly 
the p value based upon this data okay here is p value is 0.0030 which is very very less than 0.0 0.05 that means our data is statistically significant so there is a big difference between two data from data also, from seeing the data also we can uh, predict that it will have the uh, p value below the 0.05 because here you can uh, see that for data 1 first value is 10 and for data 2 20 it is almost double so it is statistically significant because uh, there is a lot difference between two values so next is ANOVA test suppose if you want to ANOVA apply ANOVA test in that case just you have to copy the data after copying the data just add new table for the new data okay same thing same interface will open and we have to click on the column by default it is already click on the column so just create after create this paste this data okay now we have three samples or three data so in that case we have to apply ANOVA test so just go to analyze tab okay click on the one way ANOVA okay just press ok okay and finally okay here uh, we are getting the non-significant so uh, this data is non-significant uh, according uh, to this software so by that way you can analyze the statistical significance of these three groups because there is an equal uh, difference between three groups so that's why it is a uh, it is not statistically significant from the data also you can see that uh, 10 20 30 20 40 so equal difference is there so that's why it is uh, stand it is not statistically significant so by using this software you can find out the statistical significance it is very easy to use if you got something new from this video please like share subscribe to my youtube channel only pharmacy thanks a lot for watching my video